it's dark out here. <laughs> Woo, there's the light. Hi, y'all. Okay, so I am out on a walk tonight enjoying this beautiful weather that we're having here in Dallas Fort Worth. So thanks for joining me. I've got a bridge behind me lit up with green neon lights, which is kind of cool. Hi, Jennifer Salter. How are things in Colorado? How is parenting? How are things going in your house with your precious babies? And I know your family's not finished, by the way. I think about that all the time. Hi, Kim. Thanks for joining. Hi, Jennifer. Y'all, I have been talking about parenting on a series right now. Uh, my name is Trina Titus Lozano, and I'm a counselor and ordained Christian minister. And I'm enjoying this beautiful weather. The moon, the moon up here is fabulous. If I can find it for you, there it is. <laughs> Just a great night. Hi, V. Thanks for getting on. It's awesome to have you on. You have an almost two-year-old who is very strong-willed. Well, they're going to be a great leader, right? So if you've got a two-year-old that is very strong-willed, this is time to really uh, encourage their leadership, you know, just kind of go with it. If they want to do something, you're probably not going to get them to change their mind. So I just encourage you, do not get in a battle of the wills with them. And if they're really bucking you and they're just being really defiant, I, I call it a kid that's a real fighter, that like gladiator kid, right? And we've all experienced these. I did not have a gladiator kid, but I have a grandchild that's like that. You know, and I had some of my students that were like that also. You know what? She was saying timeout. You know, that's why I never even messed with timeout. Because how are you supposed to get him to stay, right? <laughs> it doesn't work very well. Um, but, you know, you you just don't give up right now. Like, seriously. Your four-year-old told you yesterday he wanted to be the president because he makes the plans. <laughs> That is so cute. You know, it's interesting because kids are who they are, y'all. They just are. Some are leaders. Some are planners, like you said. You know, some have a lot of energy. Some are really laid back. Some are good sleepers. Some are good eaters, you know. And you really have to know your child so that you can adapt. You cannot change them. But you can adapt their personality and you can appreciate them for who they are. Go back in my past periscopes and watch TrinaTitusLozano.com as my website. Watch the DISC uh, periscopes, uh, D-I-S-C. That's the DISC personalities. Take a personality test. You can research even more about that. Um, but, but think about the personalities. Your children, they're either extroverts or introverts. And uh, they're, either, they're either a watcher or a talker or a doer, or a thinker. I don't know which ones they are. There, there might be a disc for kids. Jennifer, you know, it, but even just a regular disc, you know what your kids are. It's easy. It is easy to figure it out. You know, if they line up their toys or if they like a mess, you know, and if they're perfectly comfortable in the mess, you know, if they're real talkers, if they want to be the leaders, you know, if they're, if they're really bossy, you know, they've got some D in them, you know, but know your child. Don't try to change them. Appreciate them for who they are. But y'all, the, the tips that I've been giving, go back and watch the periscopes. These are some great tips that I've been giving for you to really, you know, maintain the, the authority. As I said yesterday, be their frontal lobe, you know, be, guide them, direct them, you know, be, be the authority, be the leader. They need that from you. They need you to be the leader. Remember, discipline is like discipleship. It's guiding them, leading them in the right direction, you know, but you don't have to do it in an authoritative, mean sort of way, but you do have to do it, you know, but when you, when you empathize with them and you really, really, um, you know, hold on, let me read this. I feel like it's always a power struggle with your six-year-old girl. What do you do in place of timeout? Those are good questions. You know, it's not a power struggle if you don't enter into it. You just be confident because you're the leader. Don't be afraid of your kids misbehaving. I think a lot of times that's what happens is the parents start to be afraid that my kid's going to misbehave, you know. And so so then you start to panic, and especially in public, it's like, oh, what am I going to do if my kid misbehaves? And uh, don't be afraid of it. Just work with it. Discipline them. You know, I don't know what it is that's causing them to misbehave. I don't know what they're frustrated about. You know, so it's hard for me to just give, like, just straight up pat answers about each individual situation. Uh, but if you want to email me, that would be great. Go to my website and email me specific situations. You know, I mean, I can give principles and so give you like an overall idea of what to do. But for specifics, you know, it's really hard because I, I don't know the specific child. I don't know what situation is making them frustrated. You know, but 
I don't enter into power struggle. Like tonight, for instance, I was with a four-year-old and a two-year-old grandkids, and we're, we're headed out to eat dinner, having some fun, because their dad's out of town, and my husband's out of town, so I was like, oh, let's go get, let's go get a hamburger and some ice cream. So, of course, they said, at Freddy's, okay? I love Freddy's, and they said, we want ice cream, but I don't want hamburger, and I don't want a hot dog, I don't want chicken, and we want ice cream, and I was just like, me too, I want ice cream, let's go get ice cream. So, you know, I just dropped it. I didn't argue about it, I went with it. Of course, they want ice cream. So I didn't need to make it a power struggle like, no, we're eating your hamburger first. You're not going to get your ice cream until you eat your hamburger. Okay. Didn't need to be said. Am I thinking that? Absolutely. Is that going to be what's going to ultimately happen? Absolutely. Why? Because, because I, I know what's in their own best interest and they don't, right? So we get there and, and they, we order their hamburgers. We order the ice cream. It all comes out on the tray at the same time. And you know, they eat a couple bites of ice cream and I have a taste of ice cream. I'm eating the burger. Then they start eating their burger. They, they ate their whole dinner. And actually y'all, they, they had like three bites of the ice cream. I threw away the majority of the ice cream but you know had I made it a big issue right then it would have become a power struggle and they wouldn't have felt heard so then things escalate you know so things escalate like oh yeah that's funny uh, because we were all there together so things would have escalated have, had I been like authoritative about that I knew they were going to eat their burger they were hungry I knew they, they were going to you know so you know you don't need to get into the power struggle I'm already having the authority I already know in advance what's going to happen and so I just modeled that you just go with it, you know, and um, it's going to turn out okay. I promise you. But y'all just mostly know, need, you need to know that your kids need to know that you like them. The kids need to know that you love them and they need to know that you're hearing them. Um, what if you eat dinner elsewhere? You know what? Be anytime, just never make mealtime a fight. You know, that's not a time to fight. That's a time to talk. That's a time to have fun. That's a time to enjoy. Just be make your meal times very relational. You know, tell them baby stories about when you used to feed them. You know when they were babies and how they used to open their mouth. Ah, uh, and then you would say, oh, "Open your mouth. It's like an airplane. Here we go." You know, and feed them that way. You know, but keep it fun. Keep it lighthearted. You know, even if it's a four-year-old, go. This is the way I used to feed you when you were a baby, and then give them a big bite. You know, you know whatever it takes. But keep it fun. Keep it lighthearted. Like you don't need to make your mealtime a fight. I, I, it's that's not good. We want that to be a relational time where you're really connecting relationally. So y'all, before I leave tonight, I just want you to remember that relation, a close relationship, is what you're wanting to do. Um, you bribe them too much, yeah, you know. And it's okay to bribe them every once in a while. It's okay to reward them once in a while. You know, they know that that they're loved. And honestly, V, I've watched you. You're a great mom, and you're doing a great job. So y'all just keep on pressing forward, uh, having a great relationship. Both your kids have dominant personalities more than you do. <laughs> so they tell you, you know what? When you give them authority to tell them what you to do, then you still keep the authority. Isn't that fun, Jennifer? So for instance, you could say, Hey kids, come on in here. Um, Kirby, could you tell mommy what black shoes you think I should wear today? So you give her the authority to tell you what to do. You know, or you could say, Hey Kirby, come on in here. You think we should have chicken or fish for dinner? What do you think? Let her choose. You know, Hey Kirby, come here. What do you think? Do you think it's cold outside? You think we need a jacket or a sweater? You know, let her be a leader. It's okay, because when you give her the authority, then you still keep the authority, but you let her be a leader, and then your son as well, so that's fun. Thanks, Wendy. That really helps. Y'all go there for past Periscopes. I've already been downloading my parenting Periscope, so you can get to the links real quick on the YouTube, and so... um I think you can find those even though they might not be on my website yet. But uh, you would love to know how to handle a child who gets distracted. Not rebellion, but job, job not done. How old is that child? You know, because everyone gets distracted. Y'all, we get distracted. Kids get distracted. So don't be too, too high with your expectations. Eight years old. You're probably, depending on their personality, if they're a more outgoing, fun-loving personality, if they're more of a people person, you might just have to do it with them. You know, uh, one of my kids, I was never getting the job done. And in fact, to this day, she struggles with this, right, Brittany? She's going to watch on the replay. And I would just have to say, 
hey, you know what? Let's do it together. Come on, girl. Let's go get your teeth brushed. So it was a lot of let's. Let's get your teeth brushed. Come on. Let's get your room clean. Hey, let's get your homework done. And I would sit there and I would really have to do a lot with her. Oh, that's funny. Brittany just now joined. Brittany, I was just talking about you. So you'll have to rewind to see it. Um, but yeah, you may have to be, you may have to do stuff with them a lot to get them and set the timer. You can do that. I know that's funny, Wendy. She must, her ears were ringing. Um, but yeah, no, I said a good story, but you can rewind and see. <laughs> but you know, some people, you just have to, sometimes it's teamwork, depending on the personality. You know, my boys weren't like that. My boys finished things and my, and Brittany didn't. Brooke did. Brittany was my only child that really needed the teamwork. And that's okay. Some kids need, need teamwork and that's no big deal. But if they do, you know, don't make it a battle. Keep it, keep it sweet, keep it kind, keep it relational. And sometimes if you set a timer, you know, you can say, get this done before this timer goes off, something like that, um, to just help them finish the task. But give them smaller tasks and then reward when they finish something really tiny so that they can have that success, okay? All right, y'all. Well, God bless you. I've got to get home. It's getting late out here. But um, seriously, Brittany, things never change. Personalities are what they are. So kids that are leaders now, they're always going to be a leader. Kids that like to do the teamwork are always going to want a buddy to, to help them with their chores. Right, Britt? So that's just the way it is. God bless you guys. And thank you for joining me. I so appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow at noon and nine. Bye, Britt. Good night.